much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. On the return is J.J. Taylor. And able to get this out to the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. 49, 49, guys. Mike, Mike, 49. Come on. You better freeze. 49, 49. 19, right. Yeah, give these traps. Let's go. Whip, 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 whip. The final shot watch before play. break. Jones. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. at the line ready to go and they trail here to begin the second half what's going to be a key for them to get back in the game i think they're right there and i think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers they had two of them in the first half and once you start talking about if you have three four or five you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that those have to be eliminated if they take care of the ball they still got a shot Harris going to get it again on second down. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's going to bull his way forward to the 48. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now here's another carry for Harris. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 54 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Now Jones on first and 10. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. They'll try and run with Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are back within a score. Nick Folk for the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. 
Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, Singletary, and he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On the give, this is Singletary, and he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 56, 56. From midfield, here's Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Jones now throwing on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Well, this is a defense that's definitely on their heels now because they gave up the running play for good yardage one play ago. Now the pass here sets this offense up first and goal. They got to dig in strong now because they've been in retreat so far in this drive. This offense on the march. On second and goal, Jones. Touchdown! Kendrick Bourne, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. They'll try and throw for it. And he will get into the end 
zone. So how about that for putting it on the line? They've taken the lead by a point here in the fourth quarter. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. McKenzie now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and stick it over and rebuild that confidence. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flat line. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. First down, Singletary, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Here's Allen on the move to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll run on first down. Singletary, 69 yards rushing for him. Now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Right back to Singletary on second down. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And that is no good. But a flag is down here, so hold on. Let's see what this is about. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So all eyes now on Tyler Bass. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And the Bills are going to get out of here winners. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. Wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really.